In this video, I'm going to show you different types of hotel parking. You ready? Let's go. Welcome, I'm Malachi Simmons Jr. and this is Hotel Soldier, where the mission is to provide you all things hotel to your front lines. On this channel, I give you the three eyes with information, instructions, and interviews. Information on all things in the hotel industry, instructions on various tasks in the hotel industry, and interviews with individuals associated with the hotel industry. Now, if you're new to Hotel Soldier and you want to see this video and other videos like this video, hit on the red subscribe button at the bottom, along with the notification bell for Hotel Soldier. Now with hotel parking, it can come up as self-parking or valet parking. Now with the self-parking or valet parking, it can come up with complimentary or with a fee. Now with the self-parking and valet parking and complimentary with a fee, there's so many different combinations, different ways. So let me show you the different combination of ways that it can come up at a hotel. Self-parking outdoors. Usually self-parking is complimentary or with no charge. So the guest drives into the hotel parking lot with the vehicle, finds a parking space, unload their luggage if they have any, goes inside and checks in. Or the guest drives into the hotel parking lot, parks in front of the hotel, unload their luggage if they have any, checks in, comes back outside and finds a parking space. Now usually at most hotels there's usually signs posted. Now these signs may say, you know, grab your valuables, don't leave your valuables in the vehicle, take, you know, take your valuables with you. This is an indicator that the hotel security may patrol the exterior of the property periodically from time to time, but their main priority and focus is on the guests staying inside the hotel. Now, what you do is always visit the hotel's website or at OTA's website, which is an online travel agency like your Expedia or Travelocity Hotels.com, and see what type of parking that that hotel has. Self parking, large parking lot for large vehicles. Now, usually, self parking, large parking lot for large vehicles are most of the time complimentary or with no charge. So the guest drives into the parking lot with their semi truck and their trailer or their truck and their boat or their truck and their trailer or their recreational vehicle or any large type of vehicle. They find a space, unload their luggage, if they have any, go check in. Now, there may be signs posted outside like say that the hotel is under 24 hour surveillance. And also, they may have also the signs that say, hey, don't leave any valuables inside the vehicle, take your valuables with you. Now, this is indicated that the hotel security is watching the outside exterior of the property. But however, their main priority focus are still with the guests that are registered staying inside the hotel. So, the idea is to go call the whole Hell, to see if they have large parking lots to in order to accommodate you with a large vehicle because most of the time the hotel website probably don't have it indicated on the website that they actually have a large parking lot you can have vehicles there 
or even an OTA's website probably don't have it on there that indicate that say we accommodate large vehicles. So always call the hotel to see if you can bring your large vehicle in and park it at that hotel. Self-parking outdoors for individuals with a disability. So self-parking outdoors for an individual with a disability. Usually it's complimentary or with no charge at all. So a guest drives into the parking lot, finds a parking space for an individual with a disability, parks, unload their luggage if they have any, checks into the hotel. Or they drive from the hotel, unload their luggage if they have any, checks into the hotel, comes back outside, finds a park space designated for an individual with a disability. Now usually there's a sign indicating if you park in this park space and you don't have a disability, you receive a fine. Now, some individuals, their license plate may indicate they have a disability. Now if you don't have a license plate that's indicating you have a disability, you display your blue permanent disability card or placard or your red temporary disability card or placard. This so won't be no confusion and, and distinguish that you do have a disability and you allow the parking at parking space. Now, it's also good practice to call the hotel to see where that parking space is located on the property. Because most of the time on the hotel website or on the OTA website, there's no indication of where that parking space is located on the property. Self-parking outdoors with a gate or access point. Self-parking outdoors with a gate or access point is usually with a charge. Now an individual drives into the hotel parking lot, goes to the gate or access point, hit a button on the machine, ticket comes out, the gate opens, they drive inside, they unload their luggage if they have any, go check in. Or they drive from the hotel, unload their luggage if they have any, go to the front desk, go to check in. Front desk tells them, hey, you gotta get the ticket from the machine, from the gate or the access point. Or they may give them the room key that might control and open up the gate or the access point. Now, usually most of the time, this gate or access point, the first few minutes is usually free because individuals drop people off. And after a certain period of time, it get, you get charged when you exit the gate or access point or sometimes the gate of access point cost or the fee is added to your bill during checkout. Now most of the time this gate or access point is in busy metropolitan areas or around areas of airport. This is control who is using the hotel's parking. Now if you visit the hotel's website and you see that there's a charge for parking or you visit the OTA's website and you see there's a charge for parking. It's always a good indicator that there may be some type of gate or access point or some type of parking situation that, that you may have to pay for. So call the hotel and see what type of parking they may have. Self-parking outdoors paid parking lot. Self-parking outdoors paid parking lot indicates that the hotel probably does not have a designated parking area. So the guest drives in the parking lot, finds a parking meter, pays for the parking, for a ticket, indicate how long they're gonna stay, leave it in the window for visible, unload their luggage if they have any, and checks into the hotel. Or the guest drives in front of the hotel, unload their luggage if they have any, checks into the hotel, find this paid parking lot, find a meter, pay for the parking to indicate how long they're gonna stay, leave it in the window, be visible. Self-parking paid parking lot, more likely you have to call the hotel to see if they have it. Cause most time on the hotel website, it's probably not indicated that they're using a paid parking lot in the area or on an OTA website, it's probably not indicated that they're using a paid parking lot in the area.
self-parking in a parking garage. Self-parking in a parking garage could be complimentary or with the charge. The guest drives up to the parking garage and right there there may be a gate or access point indicating if there's a charge or if it's complimentary. Guest hits the button, ticket comes out, if there has, is if the ticket drives inside, unload the luggage, if they have any, go checks in. Or the guest may drive up to the parking garage and it may not be a gate or access point. They may park their vehicles inside the parking garage, unload their luggage, if they have any, go to the front desk and tell them, hey, I'm using your parking garage, just so you won't be towed for not having a vehicle attached to a reservation of a registered guest. Or they park in front of the hotel, unload their luggage, if they have any, checks in, front desk tells them, hey, you gotta get a ticket from the machine to access the parking garage, or they show them how to enter the parking garage and tell them, hey, the parking is complimentary. Now, usually, self-parking in a parking garage is usually in areas with limited parking. This is to help out the hotel's parking situation. Now, it's always a good practice to visit the hotel's website, see what type of parking they got, or visit an OTA's website, see if they need parking, and see what kind of charge, and then call the hotel and see what kind of parking they have. Valet parking. Valet parking is usually with a charge. Now, the guest drives up to the front of the hotel, sets up the vehicle, gives a key to a parking attendant. Attendant takes a ticket, may give the other half to the guest with a number indicating what number they are. Take the other half of the ticket, attach to the key, put it into a secured area. Same time, the guest unloads their luggage if they have any, go checks in. And the park attendant takes their vehicle and put it into a designated area. Or the guest drives from the hotel, sets up the vehicle, unloads their luggage, Go check in. At the same time, may still also give the park attendant their key because they may or may not check in. But this is so the park attendant can move their vehicle just in case it's impeding traffic. Now, from time to time, the guests may want to use their vehicle. They call down to the parking attendant or guest services and say, hey, can you bring my car around? And then the park attendant gets the key out of a secure area, grabs their vehicle, brings it to the front of the building. Now, most of the time, the good practice is always look at a hotel's website to see if they have valet parking and see if there's a charge for it. Or look at an OTA website to see if they got valet parking and also see if they got a charge. So those are different types of hotel parking. Make sure to click the like button and leave a comment. And if you want to see this video and other videos like this video, make sure to click on the red subscribe button along with the notification bell for Hotel Soldier with a mission to buy you all things hotel to your front lines.